what is up youtube i'm back with another video and this video is just going to be me giving you guys some college freshman advice i'm a freshman in college but i'm just trying to tell you guys some advice about relationships about school work about you know party let's get right into the video i want to start off by talking about schoolwork because college is more so for your schoolwork and to find your career and to find what you like to do in college they are very lenient I thought it was going to be a little bit hard, but really you make your own mistakes and you got to eat those mistakes up and, you know, charge them to the game or do whatever you need to do to pick it right back on up. Just don't fall too quite behind in your work. You know, your friends is always going to be there. You know, people is always going to be there. Stay focused. Stay focused on your grind. You know what I'm saying? Stay focused on your career. Stay focused on what you want to do because at the end of the day, ain't nobody going to do it for you. You really have to be very mindful what you putting in and what you getting out you know the teachers don't give you a grade you give yourself your grade that's really a concept that you have to learn especially when you're in college and even for the younger kids who may be watching this video and they're in high school or you're all in elementary school i don't know teachers don't give you a grade you give yourself your grade so make sure that you know you own your stuff you on your grind and with school right try to find like people like study groups or colleagues that really like to be on their stuff you know what i'm saying find those people that you can spend time with studying spend time with going to the library just getting your stuff together you are a strong person like to hang by yourself you don't even need no college just make sure your mind is very mindful of what you're in college for know that you have something to do and you want to accomplish that something and to do that you have to do work so work for it you know what i'm saying work for your career do it for yourself so make sure you dare to know that you are in college for yourself. You are in college to expand your knowledge and you are in college for your career. That's it about schoolwork because I can't really come up with nothing. And guys, I really don't have no pen, paper, or no pad. So it's this is really coming. All my advice that I could give you guys is really coming off the head and stuff that I made myself noticeable of and stuff that I just became, you know, you know, just became aware of. But also with college, you're going to find yourself in relationships. You're going to find yourself, you know, getting your heart broke or whatever the case may be. Hey, don't let that heartbreak break you. Do not let no heartbreak break you. You pick that chin up, baby. You stay on to the next and you say, let me continue with my word. You know, charge that heartbreak to that school word. Charge that heartbreak to the game. You know what I'm saying? Use that heartbreak to better you, to make you even more better, to make you even want to go more harder. You know what I'm saying? Be like, yeah, I'm hurt. Bumping, boss on up, you know what I'm saying? Do that. You know, don't try to pity yourself when you are in a heartbreak. Don't do it. Because if you do it, it's gonna it's gonna be your loss. You know what I'm saying? You let that be that other person lost, your loss, baby. I'm going to boss up. You know, even if they learned you from the back of their hand to the front of their hand, I got growing to do. You you didn't learn that girl seven years from now. You know what I'm saying? You girl 12 years from now. You don't know how I'm gonna be. You know what I'm saying? You learned me back in my past. You don't even know me today. If I stopped talking to you yesterday, you don't know the girl who I am today. You know what I'm saying? I might have changed. I might have charged it to the game and I might have changed it and switched it on up on your behind. So don't even play like that oh, i am here to inspire you all i'm here to give you some actual advice get somebody who is really grateful for you make sure you have somebody who is going to push you to be your best make sure you don't have a partner who jealous of you or who is envious of you and you know when your partner is envious of you and you know when your friends is envious of you and you know when you, somebody is just jealous of you in your circle always it's like you know little questions well what you made on your test you know what you did on this how you how your money looking stuff like that don't do that you know don't do that Lead that to the birds. You know what I'm saying? Lead them people, lead them folks who only wish bad on you to the birds. Because the only thing it's going to do is make you feel some type of way about yourself. Why this person is happy that you feel feeling some type of way about yourself. Don't let that be. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody ever make you feel like that. Also with these relationships, a lot of boys and girls get in these relationships. They don't even know how to compliment each other. You know what I'm saying? If your relationship and your partner is not complimenting you, and when I say complimenting you, I'm not telling you like compliments, like, oh, you're beautiful, you know, this and that. I'm telling you complimenting your life. You know, a lot of people still stick around with they uh, stick, stick around with the boyfriends and the girlfriends who just do not compliment them no more. They might have complimented your own self. I'm telling you this from the heart because I stuck around in a relationship that didn't compliment me no more. You know what I'm saying? They complimented your own life. But this life is a new life. You know, everybody change every second of the day. Nobody stays the same. This world is not a linear. This world is not a linear experience. It's more so exponential. Stuff change. Stuff change fastly. Stuff change rapidly. You know, sales is growing. Sales is, you know, replacing themselves 24-7. So let's not even act like we're going to be wasting our time on somebody that don't compliment me. You know what I'm saying? Boss up one another life. If that's not the case, 
leave that alone especially when you are in college and this could just be some general advice especially when you are in college you got stuff to do you got stuff to be you got places to be you got things to do you know what i'm saying don't be a fool and if you do and if you do don't beat yourself up because heartbreak and relationships they not easy neither getting out of a heartbreak and getting out of a relationship is easier said than done on any day it's easier said than done do not let that heartbreak break you, basically. Because at the end of the day, you got stuff to do, especially when you are in college, especially when you are trying to make a career. You have stuff to do. Be mindful of who you hang around. In college, a lot of us do go to parties. A lot of college students like to party. When you go to a party, the drink out of no cup that somebody gave you. Do not smoke anything that you did not see rolled up. Do not drink out of your cup that's been sitting there for 30 minutes and you've been out there partying in a crowd don't do it that's how you mess yourself up at the end of the day you know and even if you don't mess yourself up that one time somebody can easily slip something in that blunt easily slip something in that drink don't do anything that you didn't see get prepared especially at a party be very careful when you are partying when you party make sure you are going with somebody that you are comfortable with you know what i'm saying because a lot of people they go with people who gonna get drunk themselves or they go with people who just don't care to watch after anybody but themselves you know what i'm saying so it's like really be mindful who you go to a party with because and the end of the day you want to be safe before you want to be sorry you know what i'm saying and if you feel like you need to sit out sit out it's okay sit out it's gonna be a party next weekend and some other advice I could give you guys, especially if you are going to live on campus and stuff like that, don't bring all your clothes. Do not bring all your clothes. You know, the college that I go to, the college students, trust me, baby, they don't mind putting on sweatshirts and sweatpants and stuff like that. You really don't need all your clothes and you really don't need all your shoes. Really, you probably just need two pairs. Especially when you are at college, you probably really just need two pairs of shoes. Your great tennis shoes and your walking tennis shoes. You and most of the time, you're probably going to be using your walking tennis shoes. That's that's about it. So I can really tell you about college, especially if you're living on a dorm, you can bring like a shower filter. I don't know if the water is like circulated in the building or what the case may be, but you do want your water filter. And just make sure you have like some type of filter for the water. That's all I can tell you guys because the water is pretty, you know, I don't know. With friendships in college, Make sure you, again, make sure you have a friendship that compliments you, you know, and even if you don't have a friendship that compliments your lifestyle, what you want to be in that friendship is more so your party friendship. Make sure you have different types of group for different events. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to make your school friend, don't try to make your studious friend a party friend. You know, that's just selfish on your behalf. Find friends who would like to go to that party with you and party with them find friends who would like to study with you and study with them you know what i'm saying just be flexible with the people that you hang around because at the end of the day you don't want to burden anybody you dang sure don't want to burden nobody's career or burden nobody's like you know what they're trying to do in life basically yeah that's you know don't network with people who are jealous of you because when people don't want to win when people see you winning and they don't want to win they don't want to pick their stuff up guess what they start doing to you making you feel bad Making you feel like you're not doing enough. You know, making you feel like you're just not accomplishing something. Making you feel like you are failing. You know what I'm saying? So leave those people in the dust. Leave those people in the dirt. Because at the end of the day, those people got something to deal with themselves, inside themselves. You want to hang around people who are on the same level as you. You know, and if they're not on the same level as you, hang around people who are higher than you. So you can figure out what you want to do. Don't hang with somebody down here and you up here. Because at the end of the day, you're going to... Be knocking yourself down. You know what I'm saying? You will be knocking yourself down trying to be with, trying to hang with the wrong crowd. It's not cool at the end of the day to be hanging with somebody who don't even care for you for real. In their heart, they really just do not care for you and they don't care who, what you do, how you do it, and when you do it. Because at the end of the day, those people are not for you. Those people are for themselves. And that's okay. You can be for yourself. But I'd rather be for the people and I'd rather be for me at the end of the day. Oh, about sex. I would just say be protecting of you and yourself and others, especially the others that you are partaking in that activity with. You know what I'm saying? Like, make sure you guys on the right page. Ask questions. You know, ask questions before you get yourself stuck in a situation that you don't want to get yourself stuck in. Are you clean? Do you have STD? May you shower for me before we do this? Because a lot of people like to do it before they even get a shower. You know what I'm saying? And that's how you get UTIs, you know, and that's how you get sexual transmitted disease and stuff like this. Make sure you are comfortable asking somebody to like be safe. Please use protection. 
Because not only will you get a baby out of not using protection, you can't get STDs and you can't spread the STD to the next person. And that next person can spread it to the next person. And then it's just going to be a world full of STDs and you don't want that to happen. You know what I'm saying? And also when you are being sexually active, get tested. It's okay to feel like you need to get tested. That's exactly what you need to be doing. Don't make nobody feel like that's dirty. It's not dirty. Actually, you're dirty for telling me that I don't need to get tested. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to figure out they ain't doing good down there in college even in high school if you are just being sexually active in the whole in a whole sense you are using protection you know respect yourself at the end of the day respect yourself respect your means by all means respect your private parts respect your genital area you know what i'm saying just respect it protection is not that hard to put on you know just go ahead and slip that thing on buddy let's get it on out the way you should be in clean because at the end of the day cleanliness is just going to be more safe when you are roommating with somebody, make sure you respect your roommate's means. You know what I'm saying? Make sure your roommate respect your means. Have a talk with your roommate. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you get to know your roommate. Because at the end of the day, that's going to be the person you're going to spend your whole day with. You're going to be sharing the same space as this person. So make sure you tell your roommate and make sure you make it comfortable. Don't and really understand your roommate is different from you. Your roommate is going to live different from you. Your roommate is going to come from a whole different background from you. And even if that means race, ethnicity, whatever the case may be, your roommate is just going to be different. Even if y'all the same, you know, even if y'all the same race or whatever the case may be, they grew up in a whole different environment than you. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you are very mindful that your roommate is different from you and that's okay. It's okay to be different. You know what I'm saying? And you don't need to make your roommate feel any bad for being different. And just be clean for your roommate. You know, keep your side clean and make sure your environment is clean and stuff like that. It's just not... It's not good living in a dirty space. So really be just, you know, respectful that your roommate has tests to do and quizzes to do. And you guys might just be in the same room when they're doing that test and that quiz. Be quiet, you know. It's okay to be quiet. Put in some headphones. It's okay to listen to music, to music through your headphones. You know what I'm saying? Like, just really respect the means because at the end of the day, you're going to want your roommate to respect you when it's your time to do your work and do everything that you need to do. It's about transportation. Transportation in college... I would say, I would say bring a car because me personally, I like to get around outside of the campus. Like I, I like to go outside the campus and actually go and do stuff. But if you don't have a car, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. It's so many transportation apps. There's so many transportation methods. You can use buses, Ubers, taxis, your feet. Trust me, all the college students be out there walking. I've seen college students walk all the way to Walmart from where my college is at. I've seen college students walk to McDonald's from where my college is at. I've seen college students walk from to CVS from where my college is at. And honestly, the whole time you are there, you're going to see college students walking every single where every day. The campus is going to be fulfilled with college students outside. So it's like, you may, you may not even need a car if you're not one of those persons who feel the urge or the need to go far out. If you don't feel the urge or need to go far out, baby, use your feet. It ain't nothing wrong with using your feet. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're here to do. Walk. Walk on the earth. So let me wrap up the video with funding. With some money, baby. You know, when you are a college student, make sure you know how to save your money. You know, make sure you really know how to save your money. Don't go spend all the money that you have on, you know, bull crap. Don't do it. Especially if you ain't got no income coming in. You know, struggling and stuff, trying to get your, trying to get your education too. Get a job. That's why I can say either get a job or save your funds that you have until next semester till you go on break and go back to your job or until you go on break and want to get a job. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you're going to need that money. You know, you're going to need that money for your funding. You're going to need that money for your classes. You're going to need that money for your books. You know, that's just how school is. That's just what it is. So, guys, that was the end of this video. And I really hope you all enjoyed me talking and give you guys some advice about college life or just some general life advice and some general life tips because at the end of the day we do need to help each other and give each other some inspiration even if you don't want to that's how the world works thank you guys for watching my videos and if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and if you enjoy it share it because somebody else might enjoy it and just thank you guys for watching my video as always i'll be back next video thank you bye